Hi, my name is Harimunder Khalsa, and um, it's an unusual name for an old white woman to have in this country, but uh, I studied with a yoga master, Yogi Bhajan, for almost 40 years, and uh, it's customary to get a name from your teacher, and that was the name I was given, Harimunder means God's house. And um, Khalsa is an earned name, and um, there's a lifestyle that goes along with that. Uh, I have since um, abandoned the um, bana, it's called the garb and the turban, um, but I still honor um, the rest of the lifestyle, which includes vegetarianism and um, uh, refraining from intoxicants. So the name change and the lifestyle change, which also included um, some pretty intense and esoteric yoga and meditation practices. Uh, I started painting when I was a young child. I won a, some kind of school art contest when I was in, I think, first grade. Um, but I was, I also grew up in a family where children were seen and not heard. And so immersing myself in coloring books and crayons and scissors and paint and all that was a great way to keep out of the eye of the adults in my world. And um, I, I just never stopped. I always loved making art. Art was not what I did in my spare time. I would always get jobs that supported my ability to make art, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not, I have to say I'm not exactly formally trained. I have had some few art classes here and there, but um, I've been painting for a lot of years and um, just, uh, I've, I've, I've had a lot of opportunity to hone my craft, so to speak. I've done a lot of different kinds of painting. I was in the sign business back when signs were still hand painted. I'm like a retired sign writer. Um, I've painted murals. I've been painting Christmas windows all over Gainesville for, I don't know, 35 years, 40 years. Um, just learned how to use different kinds of brushes. Uh, this is my homemade brush bag because when I painted murals and I used to have to travel out of town, I couldn't find anything that was adequate to carry my brushes, so I made this wonderful brush bag. So this is some of my brushes. I just painted some windows at the Gainesville Airport, and um, these were the brushes that I took with me. I've painted a lot of mandalas. It's kind of a framework that I've used for quite a bit of my work. Um, and what happened was a few years ago, I was doing some research. I was looking for a good picture of the Vitruvian man, which is that circle with the, you know, the arms. Um, Leonardo da Vinci gets credit for that. And somehow um, looking at, looking for, and looking at pictures of the Vitruvian man took me to the Fibonacci series, which somehow I just started uh, you know, drawing these uh, concentric circles and then gridding them off and then connecting the lines and the next thing you know I've got this wonderful backdrop and then I would make patterns uh, for different images that I wanted to plant in the mandalas and I've been doing that for quite a while um, and in fact uh, my friend uh, Donna Henderson who's a acupuncture physician who lives in Keystone Heights. Um, she and I uh, produced a book together called Eye of the Beholder which has images of some of my mandalas in it and um, uh, then we got together with a musician Stephen Earl who is a park ranger up at Goldhead Branch State Park uh, and made a DVD uh, with the help of Stephanie Clark, who did all of the, the the hard work of putting the whole thing together, but anyway, those are will be available at the at the show also. Uh, sometimes people want to know um, where the idea comes from, or what I start with, or what my end goal is, and all that. And um, I can have an end goal when I start, but a lot of times the painting just evolves into something more than or a little than what I had in mind originally. So I let go of all of that worry about what are other people going to think. 
it was tremendously liberating artistically. So I don't have that anymore. So when I work, I'm not worried about what other people think. I'm not worried about what other people think it's going to look like. All that's gone. I paint. Um, I, I do like to think that my work is going to uh, speak to others. And I mean, I'm, that's some of the feedback that I often get from people is that it does speak to them in some way. Uh, a lot of my work does reflect um, love of the environment, love of nature. Um, anyway, there are 11 evocateurs. This is blame and shame. And um, what's interesting to me about this couple, and, and they are couples, there's five couples, blame and shame, happy, sad. Anyway, um, is that, that these guys can, they have three different setups because blame could be Blaming, shaming, shame. Um, blame could also be protecting because you did something wrong and blame and shame was hurt by it. Or shame could be in trouble and blame could be confronting the other conspirator. So anyway, so these are two of the evocateurs and uh, Please come see all 11 of them. I think you'll especially like Shrug and Indifference. So I would like to invite you to the artist reception on December 6th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Mossman Hall in Melrose, Florida. And uh, come and see my work. And if you can't make it on that night, the gallery's open other days and other times. During the month of December, my work will be there, and please, please come, come see my work. <laughs>